I guess we try to do this on a Sunday morning, just a little brief update financially. I know it's not everybody's um, favorite topic maybe, but we want to be open. We're a family. We want you to know what, where the finances are at. And also, it wasn't so long ago, six months ago, you'll remember at the beginning of the year, we came to you, um, said that our financial position was challenging um, and really asked people to, uh, to give into that. Um, as we got to the end of that last financial year. So we want to give you an update on that. Um, it won't be all the details. It's only going to be headlines because that's all we have time for. Um, so just to say, please feel free to come and ask questions. Um, come and talk to me. Come and talk to Callum. Um, if you want to know more, if you want a bit more detail. Um, in the month, some point in July, we will be sending out um, giving statements like we do every year. We'll accompany that with a video of some of the pictures and stuff that I've shown you today um, so that um, you've got those to hand if you want to kind of explore more. But do come and ask us questions. Okay. The first thing to say, if I stand over here, is that all right? Do I need to be in that line of sight? I shall stand here. Um, right, the first thing to just to say, as ever with finance, just a huge thank you to everybody who gives, particularly uh, those who give sacrificially, regularly into the life of Gateway. We don't get income from anywhere else. We are a family and all the, um, all the money comes from people's giving. So just to say a huge thank you. And by the way, on this subject, um, you will, a lot of you will have been here a couple of weeks ago when the authentic, when our young people were cleaning cars out on the, uh, out in the car park to raise money for those who couldn't otherwise afford to go to New Day, which is an amazing youth camp which happens in August. Um, just to say that everybody gave amazingly that day. That over £2,500 has come in as a result of the car washing. I know, I know the car washing was good, but it wasn't, you know... 2,500, that is impressive. So thank you so much. That means that every single pe person um, that wouldn't otherwise be, have been able to afford to go can no, now go to New Day. So the whole lot. So we've completely covered it. So that is fantastic. Thank you so much for that. Um, again, going back to January, you'll know that it's been a challenging financial year. We, we talked to you back last October when we were needing to close Gateway Furniture. And then in January... Um, this, in fact, after we closed Gateway Furniture, um, this was the picture that we showed you of our reserves. So as a charity, we have to um, hold a certain amount of money in reserve, just in the case of uh, emergencies and that kind of thing. Uh, the amount that we hold in reserve is defined. You see the bands there. We're meant to have our reserves in between those two bands. Okay, that's, um, uh, that's dependent on our expenditure each year. So we're meant to sit somewhere in between the bands. It goes up and down a bit. But um, you'll probably remember, uh, some of you will remember us showing you this graph at the time after we'd had to close Gateway Furniture with different challenges over the last few years. And we were saying this year's reserves, we were predicting we're going to be down at the level of 40,000, where our reserves policy tells us they should be up at something more like 100,000. So it was a challenging point. We came to you in January. We said, look, we need to set a target to, to get an extra 10,000 in this financial year and then another 15 on top of that the following financial year. So we set some targets. We said, will people um, give sacrificially into that at the beginning of the year, which you absolutely did. So again, a huge thank you. So this is where we ended. This is the picture of income over the last few years. Um, this, the last financial year, 22, 23, which ended in March. Um, what the income was up at 345,000, which wasn't the target that we'd set us ourselves for this year, which was 330. It was actually the target that we'd set ourselves at that point for the following year. Um, so that was, again, an incredible response of people giving uh, sacrificially and just responding to that um, into what God is doing here. So again, just want to say a really big thank you. Um, you'll see it's been a bit up, up and down over the last few years. You'll know that uh, it's been a challenging few years in terms of finances. First of all, the pandemic, and then just bringing the, the, the two sites back together here, and then um, needing to close Gateway Furniture, which we explained to you um, earlier in the year. But you'll see, I think the encouraging thing is that now income, which is often a sign just of general activity, is now picking up in this last financial year again, um, out of the, uh, the dip that it had been in, if you like. Um, so that's encouraging. 
It stopped working. Okay, no, it hasn't stopped working. Um, that just shows you when you then add in expenditure, that's the net position at the end of each year. That always fluctuates up and down. Um, we've, again, the, the, slightly, the, the weirdest one there is the pandemic year when income carried on high, but expenditure dropped. So we had a big surplus that year, which enabled us to um, carry deficits in the following year, albeit not the deficit that we were expecting in this last financial year, obviously. Okay. Having said what we were predicting at the beginning of the year when we came to you, actually this is where um, the financial year 22-23 ended up. So not the 40,000 reserves that we were predicting, but actually closer to 80,000 because of everybody's response at the beginning of this year. So just incredible, really, people's faith and response as a family into that. So, um, okay, not where they're meant to be, but much more healthy than we were predicting. So um, that's where we ended up the year. Sorry, I'll get the hang of this in a minute. Um, okay, this is a, a pie chart that we kind of show every year. Just shows our expenditure, just so, so you know um, where the money has gone in the last financial year. Um, it doesn't change that much year to year. The biggest cost, obviously, is staff costs, as you would expect. That's the same. Big chunk for into gateway furniture and then building, other operations, Burundi, and so on. And then the thing that I do just want to highlight is um, giving away in the last financial year. So this is where we were able to invest into things um, outside of Gateway, if you like, outside of the Gateway family, um, giving away to other things, which apart from I, the numbers are, are, maybe you might think the numbers are not huge, but what this does is it just gives an indication of the things that we champion, um, that that we want to invest into, the things that we value and that we want to put our resources into um, around the town and further afield. So last year, obviously, particularly high on gateway furniture just because of all that went on there, but all but plowed into serving the town. And again, I see Andrew's in today. Just want to honor Andrew and the rest of the team just for the way that they, the, this whole last year, the way they um, responded to the difficult circumstances and then just um, closed Gateway Furniture down and all that they've, um, the legacy really of what they've invested into the town. Um, let me do this pictorially. So that's the Gateway Furniture team. I'm really going to whiz through these, but it just gives you a flavor of some of the stuff that we're involved in, not just financially, but also obviously as staff, this is where we um, invest our time and that kind of thing. So Gateway Furniture, then Kevin and Dawn. Dawn, obviously we were supporting part-time last year as she was um, helping to get Penn Hill going and doing stuff in Penn Hill. Now, obviously, working full time for Night Shelter. Do you not? Like, are you not happy with that picture, Dawners? It's a lovely picture. What do you mean? Um, at regions Beyond. That's Steve Oliver, who leads our family of churches. So we regularly invest into Regions Beyond, into churches and church planting all around the world. Um, it's Safe Families. So what a lovely team. Uh, safe Families, who are really uh, just. Uh, mobilizing the church to serve families who need more support in and around Swindon. That's all the uh, working with all the churches in the town. And then Penn Hill, um, as you know, with a number of other churches, just got behind the Ch Penn Hill church plant, which is doing amazingly well. They're seeing salvations. That's David Charles Clark, who leads that. Um, and we continue to invest in releasing his time um, so that he can serve that community in Penn Hill. Um, then what else were we able to do? Alpha, this is pictures of Alpha in Royal Wooten Bassett. Um, that slightly dingy picture there is the Ganges in um, Wooten Bassett High Street, where we had the Alpha Supper, which was amazing. Um, so again, shout out to Gemma and Anne and the rest of the team who invested huge amounts in. Um, what, what a blessing. It wasn't exactly what we expected, but we were able to bring all the churches, literally all the churches in Royal Wooten Bassett together. Um, and to build relationships, which in itself has been hugely fruitful, um, and to do that alpha together. So that was great being able to enable that. Um, and then good news for Swindon. You know that unity is a big thing for us. Um, we're, uh, we spend a lot of time facilitating the churches across the town, building relationships, working together, believing that we can do more together than we can apart. This picture is of just of the highlight of the last financial year when we got um, 85 leaders from across the town, churches, Christian organizations together in this building for a meal, which was an amazing uh, thing. And we will do that again in September, but just to say we're investing in um, that unity movement really across the town. 
Burundi, you know lots about that already. We're going to talk about that again in a minute when we come to our special offering. And then just to say, looking forward to this, um, the financial year that we're now in that started in April 23, the, the one that was just started. We just set the budget for this year. Just to say, still quite limited room for manoeuvre because of the reserves position uh, and just the, what we've come through over the last few, year, few years. So reserves are, are low to begin with. Also, as you will all know in your households, some costs are increasing quite a bit. So utility costs, some of our costs around running the building, that kind of thing. Um, also, there's some new things that we want to do. You'll know, isn't it amazing to have a projector that, that, that actually shows everything all in the colors that you thought it was going to be in? And clearly, it's amazing. So there's some kit that goes into supporting that, that new projector, which was actually financed by Bible Society. Incredible. What a blessing to have them as landlords. But there's some new things, really, um, that, that we want to do. Enabling the, the 20s group to go to Dicklebeng to build that relationship in the autumn. Um, and then the intern program that Colin's going to talk about um, a little bit in a minute. Um, that's coming, that we're starting next year. That will come partly out of budget and partly out of uh, the special offering we're going to talk about. So with all of that taken into account, we've set a budget for this coming year, which is a 9% increase on the last year. Um, we absolutely believe that we can do that. There is, as I say, we're starting from, um, uh, from a low reserves position, but we really want to um, not be cautious, but actually press into all that we believe that God has called us to. So we don't want to be cautious as we set the budget. We actually, with all the giving um, and the response last year, we actually uh, did a, a uh, uh, did an 8% increase over the previous year, this last year. So 9% is just a little bit more than that. Um, but we believe this is right. It doesn't actually improve our reserves position. So where it will, um, that's the picture to show you if uh, that 9% that budget in, in the new financial year. So that will really bring us out of that dip that we've been in in the last few years, if you like. Um, in terms of the net position at the year end, it will be a net neutral budget. So it's not going to improve our reserves, but they won't get any worse. But we believe that this is a moment. We, we, there will come a day we'll need to put the reserves back in. But right now, we feel it's important to just press into the new things that, that God's putting before us and, and get on with doing the things that he's called us to do in Swindon. Um, so that's the final one we always put there. Um, so that's the picture, really. We've set a budget that is a 9% increase. We'd love to invite you at this point in the year, as we look out on the coming year, just to um, look at your giving again, to review it. If you haven't started giving yet and you're part of the Gateway family, then please do consider it. Um, all the details really are on the website giving page. If you want to give in, um, cash or with a card, you can go to the next steps point at the back. Don't forget gift aid. But again, just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who's committed and investing month by month into all that goes on. We are incredibly grateful and just grateful to God, really, that, again, he's brought us through what has been quite a bumpy time in terms of finances. But God has provided what we have needed and God is faithful. Amen. Call him. <laughs> 